Hello, fabulous friends and fans. Welcome to this special series of videos on natal planets conjunct the nodes and transiting planets conjunct the nodes. Originally, when I created these videos, they ended up being over an hour long where I went through the sky and talked about each of the planets. Now, what I've done is I've edited these videos down so that you can get right to the information that you want. Look at the exact planet that you want. I wanna thank you so much for watching and thank you especially for the suggestions that you guys give me on the videos that you wanna see in the YouTube comments, on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and of course, my website nadiashaw.com please do keep those questions suggestions interactions and positive energy coming it really does mean so much to me and if you like these videos please share them and of course let me know online enjoy so now let's talk about the outer planets conjunct the nodes okay i'm going to start with uranus uranus conjunct the south node or the north node for example um, for that part Really, Uranus is unpredictable. Uranus is big. Uranus shakes things up, shakes things free as well. And Uranus is really like a thunderstorm that goes through your life, washing clean anything that you don't need. It is dramatic. It is big. It is bold as well. And depending how that particular Uranus is aspected, what else that Uranus is doing in your chart, that is really going to be a life changer and a game changer as well. And when I see Uranus coming along to conjunct the nodes, I always say to people, don't hold on too tightly to anything, really. Keep your arms wide open, allow yourself to go with the flow of the universe and see who it is that the universe needs you to be now. And that really is what it comes down to. And if you try to hold on too tight, you make things so much more painful for yourself and there's really no need to do that. Um, when Uranus conjuncts the south node, this is sudden endings of situations that are no longer suited to your karmic path. Situations that have served their karmic purpose in your life and you've got to let them go. And in some cases, very quickly, in some cases, instantly. But this really is having a very deep understanding of what it is that has served its karmic purpose in your life for you. And... Um, I have seen this again and again with people that they don't want to let go. They're like, I've invested 20 years in this company or I've, you know, I'm two years from retirement or this and that and that and this. And I say to them, look, you're hanging on and you're making it so much more painful for yourself. This is the time to change. This is the time to let go. And if you honor that impetus, you can find a way to make it work because this really is about shaking you free of what's getting in the way of you being you. And yeah, you might have spent a lot of time in the same company. You might have spent 20 years building a company. All of a sudden, it doesn't want to be yours anymore for whatever reason. You might want to hold on to that. However, this is getting in the way of your happiness. This is getting in the way of you doing that next great thing. And the universe will show you a way, will provide you a way to actually release the current situation in a way that allows you to feel like you've been true to yourself in the process. Because ultimately these things, yes, we're very strongly attached to them. We hold our identity to them. But Uranus says your identity needs to be about something a little bit more essential um, than what it is that's trying to leave right now. And as I said, you trying to hold on really just makes it worse, makes it more painful on you. And there's no need for it because you're being moved towards a future that you'll likely like so much more. There's no reason you can't do a lot of the amazing things we dream to do. You know, I'm reminded of this when, um, because I've, I'm so fortunate. I know I'm so blessed. I get to live anywhere pretty much. And, um, you know, so many times people, uh, they come, for example, they come to Cancun, they go to Mexico and they come and they only come for one week every, uh, every six months or every two years and that's it. And then they're in jobs that they really don't like. Well, Uranus comes along, conjuncts your south node. You don't got that job anymore. All of a sudden you got to figure out what you're going to do. And if you love being in Cancun, then this is when the universe is going to say, go to Cancun. You'll figure it out. Don't worry. Do something online. You know, and I've seen this again and again, and I've seen this in charts as well of a lot of people I've met who sort of live as digital nomads as well. Um, Uranus conjunct one of the nodes in the, nodes in the natal chart or Uranus conjunct uh, by transit as well uh, can kickstart or 
again, in the natal chart as well, can indicate sort of a, a very independent kind of digital nomad kind of life. It is strongly indicated. Jupiter conjunct the North Node is about you moving into the future. It's about sudden insights, sudden opportunities, um, people coming in out of nowhere to bring you blessings, people hearing about you online especially. So when I see uh, Uranus conjunct the North Node, I say to people, um, what you need to do is have an online presence of some kind. Get some kind of website up, something that expresses who you are, what you're about, what it is that you want to do in the world. Something that you feel is a really honest, authentic expression of you. And it could even just be like a, you know, a, if you're really into your family, you love your family, um, it could be you. Uh, sharing pictures of your family in a blog or something or little stories about your kids or whatever the case may be. It could be something that simple. But really, I say get an online presence going because that's going to help you tremendously to welcome in new people, welcome in new opportunities as well. It doesn't have to be something you have to have a huge investment in. Uranus is the nomad as well, right? So it doesn't have to be something that's a huge investment. It can be something super simple. It could even be you just creating some videos for YouTube as well. Something that simple that opens up greater opportunity to you. But Uranus also represents fame. And so when Uranus conjuncts the node, the north node, that possibility of becoming big in an instant opens up as well. And so when I see something like that, also I say to people like, just just be out there. <laughs> do what it is that you can do. Whatever feels right in your soul to do. And for some people that might be leaving that life not necessarily being out there anymore, but saying, you know what, I want to have a family um, and I'm going to change my life drastically in order to do that. So that's certainly a possibility that is indicated there for you as well. But when Uranus conjuncts the North Node, the people that we attract are different. It's our own genius and energy that's trying to manifest. And the people that will attract at this time um, are those that can be very intelligent, like sort of genius even, uh, people with really unique ideas, people doing something really experimental in the world. We could be in an industry where all of a sudden we realize, hey, there's a better way, there's a next way to do this. We start aligning ourselves with people who are doing something really interesting, really cool in whatever area we are in, whatever industry we're in. Um, but I've also found, look at what house um, Uranus is the ruler of, because that area is likely to go through a lot of changes and sudden improvements as well. Again, Uranus will not shake free anything that doesn't need to be let go of. When Uranus conjuncts the North Node, yes, there's an element there that we are broken free of, what gets in the way of our evolution. But it's less about what's ending. When Uranus conjuncts the south node, it's about what's ending. But when Uranus conjuncts the north node, it is clear we are going in this direction. It's about the new opportunities opening up, the new people that are presenting themselves. And it really is about a definition of yourself that is free of the expectations of others. And it is about you really stepping into who it is that you've been created to be, to borrow the words of Jeff Green. And it's also about you understanding understanding where your own genius lies and what it means to follow your own unique path, regardless of what other people think about it. And also, even if it's quietly following that path, evidence, life shows you very clearly what it is that you need to do to feel a sense of peace and happiness and fulfillment and um, feel that you are living genuinely. That becomes abundantly clear. And we also have the willingness to make those changes to actually live that personal truth.